Hi everyone, I'm Animagus, and today I want to talk about what the heck is going on with your registries, what has happened since 2.13 and 2.13.1, and just what even happened today. Um, to be completely transparent and honest, I wasn't given any information in advance. I did not know that this was this was even coming today. I'm sorry, I would have warned you or tried to at least um, or done something. Uh, but people's registries are sort of okay. There are some people who have talked about how they've already lost a lot of fragments, and there are some people who are missing out on a lot of what's going on. So I want to explain it, and I'm not trying to do this in a condescending way. This is literally how my brain works, and so I am explaining it to you how I had to explain it to myself. So we're actually going to be doing that with these wonderful little folders that I've created and I'm going to show you sort of how it went down. So if you will stick around, I'm going to explain what the heck is happening to your registry in Wizards Unite. I do want you to understand one thing and this is something that I literally learned before I decided to film this video and sort of the way that it works. So we're going to use these folders that I have created and this one is called ruining your registry. So this is also going to be known as update 2.13.0. So the way that the rollout worked, uh, and again, I'm not trying to like talk down or condescend. This is just the way that my brain works and the easiest way that I can explain it is that when the rollout began for 2.13, they started with one group of players. And the way that that worked was some players had the update faster than others. I actually had to wait a little while to get the update to roll out to me because it was over the air. Then you had to actually do the software update and download the assets, so on and so forth to get this to this point. So I was a little bit behind the curve to begin with. So let's say group one gets the rollout at 1 p.m. Then about 2 p.m., another group of players gets it 3 p.m. group three players get it and then finally at like 4 p.m. it's completely out the app is stable meaning that it doesn't game crash anytime that you try to open it um, and even though that the app version may launch with issues in and of itself it is for the most part operational okay so that is when the server stopped capturing information for previous updates. It had saved all of the information and then 2.13 hit when it was such a big change. And as soon as everybody downloaded that and started changing their registries and started updating all of their information and started clicking on images and so on and so forth, the information changed within the server. So the way that they're actually able to roll this back and to give you back your fragments or the things that you lost is because they went back to the pre 2.13 server information. So your account's information before 2.13 actually hit the fan, right? So this is what they're gonna call fixing it. So this was the fix. They rolled back the update that they had put forth in 2.13. They revisited all the accounts that had you know, reported lost fragments and so on and so forth. And they did the exact same thing. So they said, okay, group one, you lost your fragments. Here is your group of fragments back. Here's your accounts fragments back here. Are the exact counts. Here's everything that we have that you had starting from day one of the game and rolling all the way up till the day that 2.13 dropped because they had again been able to capture that information for your account. That's just the most basic way I can possibly explain it. So that's how my tiny little brain works. So they did the same thing for group one and then group two, group three, and then group four. And you see what I'm saying? Do you, do you understand sort of what's happening? It's not like, um, this wasn't a, this wasn't really a fix. It wasn't going to be a fix because all of the 2.13 from 2.13 until today, when today's update dropped, all of those fragments were going to disappear because you had two pieces or two slices of data, if you will. On one hand, you had everything pre uh, 2.13. And on the other hand, you had everything post 2.13. So that means that everything in between that span of time and all of that data that is in the middle of those two days, it just is completely gone. It just poofs into thin air. So this is one of those situations in which I feel like it's like 
fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, still shame on you. <laughs> because they should have learned their lesson here. And I tried to say a while back bef- when this was being discussed and like, how do you feel like players would react? What do you think about this? That honestly, my resolution to this whole thing would have been, I'm sorry that you lost all your fragments. And this is like the day after 2.13, right? So when everybody was super mad about losing everything, my response would have been, I'm sorry that you've lost so much, right? We cannot recover these because if we do, then it will delete other progress that you've made today, even today, between today and yesterday when the update rolled out. So what we're going to do is we're going to do compensation, which they did. They did a compensation bundle, which I, I mean, like I still could have, I still would have been happy with a little bit more, to be honest with you. Um, but then on top of that, having a spotlight hour like Pokemon Go has, or having a few days span, like a miniature event, kind of like what we've seen in the past and what we'll be seeing this weekend with Wizarding Weekend is an event of escalated calamitous proportions right and say basically the calamity has wrecked your registry it has torn foundables out of your registry we didn't even know that that was possible they're all over the map now there are insane amounts of severe uh high emergency level foundables when you use tonic for trace detection spell energy is all over the map uh we've boosted you know the rare spawns too like things like portrait of dumbledore and things like um I'm drawing a blank, but you get what I'm saying. So that would have been my solution and it would have been okay because then they would have been able to recover those fragments that they had lost in the actual game rather than rolling back a rollback or rolling back a roll forward or I like, I don't know. That's, that's just how I feel. And this is how I feel. Honestly. I mean, I could have put on a smile for you and been like, yeah, everything's all fine and dandy and rainbows and unicorns. And we're all happy in the world. But like, it's the same mistake that has been made a couple of times now. So I wanted to just, I guess, vent, but also sort of explain how it all came about and the logic behind it. Because I do understand that they were trying to roll back and recover what people lost. But in doing so, I mean, a lot of people have been grinding even harder because of some of the fragments that they've lost in the last two weeks. So to see those fragments just go away again is even more frustrating. So hopefully they stop touching our registries. Hopefully they stop messing with stuff. And um, I don't know. I hope that this video made sense. I appreciate and love each and every one of you. The support lately has been unbelievable. Uh, Patreon has been blowing up. Streams have been blowing up. And it's just been fun to hang out with you guys. I wanted to do a Wizarding Wednesday stream. But then all of this happened. So I'm sorry that I didn't get to do that. But Hopefully Friday afternoon we'll be able to do a Fortress Friday or Friday evening. We'll try to plan something fun for this weekend. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. You know what to do already. Share it with your friends. It helps out the channel. Click that red subscribe button and ring those bell notifications so you can be made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Until next time, peace.